Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use a segmented control in Swift. As you can see by the example, we're gonna change the suit of the card that displays based on what we tap on the segmented control. And we're actually gonna build this two ways. The first part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to do a segmented control via storyboard. And then the second part, we're gonna do a segmented control programmatically. Before we dive into that, I gotta thank today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to get that beautiful online presence or iOS developer portfolio up and running very quickly. Head on over to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to check it out. All right, let me give you a super quick rundown of what I already have in place. It's not much. Uh, I just have a UI image view pinned to the screen. Uh, here in the view controller, I have created an outlet from that uh, image view. And then I have also, you know, drug in my uh, card assets that you can see here. So if you're building this from home, that's all I've done so far. All right, back to the storyboard. Now let's drag on a segmented control. So I do command shift uh, L and type in segmented. There it is, segmented control. And let's drag it, we're gonna put it right here. Now let's constrain it real quick. Down here in the lower right, that little TIE Fighter button I call it. Uh, we're going to not do to the margin, let's just do 30 uh, to the leading, 30 to the trailing, and then uh, yeah, 75 from the card image view. Sounds about right. And then we don't give it a height, right? Uh, segmented controls have a default height. So add three constraints, there we go. So you can see right here we have, I'll zoom in a bit, uh, we have just a first and second button. But like I showed you in the example, we want all four suits. So up here in the upper right, if you go to the, uh, oh, click on your segmented control first. Uh, so here you have the identity inspector for everything we can do with the segmented control. What we're gonna do first is set up our four segments. So here on the right, you see segment zero first. That's the current segment. And if I hit the uh, down arrow here, you see I have segment first and second. We only have two. Well, I want four segments for all four suits. So here above it, you can see segments two. We're gonna go ahead and make that four. And then you can see over here on the storyboard, now I have four segments, but the last two don't have names. Now here's where you can set whatever title you want. So select whatever segment you want. You see now I have uh, all four segments and you'll notice they're zero indexed. So zero, one, two, three, and you can name it whatever you want. So this could be named first, it could be named Sean, you know, and you can see it changes there. So name this whatever you want for your project. Of course, we want the suits. So I can do command control space to pull up my emoji keyboard and you can see I already have them here, but you can just search for, you know, spade and it'll bring up, you know, the, the suits there. So I already have them in my most recent. So click on spade and hit enter. Now you see the first tab is a spade. Now you'll notice right below title, you can also have an image. So let's go to the second segment, just to give you an example here, image. You can see we have a lot of the SF symbols that were new in iOS 13. So uh, if you wanted to use an SF symbol in there, click on that calendar circle fill. There you go, you got a whole, over 1500 built-in icons that you could potentially use in your segment to control. You see I'm scrolling through them a bit. Um, you know, you can want the, the moon for like a night mode or a dark mode. There you go, it's already built in. But again, we're going back to uh, our, um, so we want this to be none. But again, we're going back to these suits. So uh, title, we want uh, hearts this time. And then we're just gonna do this for the rest of the segments. Make sure you hit enter to, to you know, put it in there. Segment, segment two, uh, we want the club, so command, uh, control space to pull that up, club, uh, enter, and then segment uh, four, or the fourth segment, which is segment three, um, command control space to get the diamonds. So there you go. You can see on the screen, we have the visuals of the segment to control all set up. Now, uh, this is the default look, which is which you probably want uh, because this will also look good in dark mode. You can customize it if you choose. You see up here at the top, selected tint, it's default. Uh, you can make this, let's go system red. And now you see the, you know, the little selected part is red. And now whatever one you have selected will be red. So if you want to customize that color, uh, that's the way to go. We're going to keep it default. Again, if, if you choose to pick colors uh, and real quick down here, you see background, that's default. You know, you can, you can get crazy with it, right? If we wanted this indigo color for the background and selected tint to be that red again, uh, you know, have fun with it if you like. Uh, just be careful though. Uh, make sure the colors work both light and dark mode, uh, because again, that's a that's a thing nowadays. So we're gonna keep it default so we get that nice uh, light mode, dark mode change, and I'll show you that when we run it. Um, but this is the UI. So our UI is all set up. Now we need to actually have this do something, right? So let's go to the view controller here. I'm gonna hold option to click on view controller. That pulls it up to the side. Now I have everything blown up super big because. Uh, you know, it, you can see it in the tutorial, but click on the segment to control. If you control drag over to create uh, an action, it's what we want. Cause we want to, we want to do something every time this changes. So drag it here 
and make sure an action is selected, not an outlet. So action, and we want the action to be called uh, suit did change. And we want this to be the UI segment to control. And this is the key here, this value change. So every time the value changes, this is gonna fire off, right? You can, you can see you have a bunch of different other ones, but we want value changed. So hit connect. Now you see we have our action. Uh, so let's actually just go back to the view controller so it's nice and big, you can see it here. So in suit did change, here's where we want to, based on whatever suit is selected, we want to uh, show the proper card image. So we're gonna do that using a switch statement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, switch. And what we wanna switch off of is the sender that you see that we get right here is sender dot selected segment index. So whatever number is selected. Now remember, it was zero indexed, zero, one, two, three. So again, we wanna go zero. Uh, for now, we're just gonna do break. Uh, you'll, I'm gonna put code in here in a second, but I'm gonna set up the rest of my uh, switch statement here. So when it switches to the first segment, which is case zero, this code's gonna run. So let's go ahead and set that here. So we want the uh, card image view. So this is the outlet I created up here on line 13 uh, from my storyboard. Card image view dot uh, image equals, it's gonna be UI image named, and we want this to be the uh, king of spades, KS. Now, if you're wondering where I got that name from, again, back to the assets, you can see here's the name of my uh, my assets, KS for King of Spades, KH for King of Hearts, uh, et cetera. So back to the view controller, uh, let's copy and paste this because we're only gonna change um, the suit here. So uh, KS, so this case one is hearts. So we want that to be KH. Case two, uh, this is the third segment is clubs. So KC and then uh, KD for diamonds. And then now the default case. So if, you know, for some reason, it's not zero, one, two, or three, it's the default case. We want to do red underscore back just to show the back of the card. If for some reason, uh, you know, things get messed up. So let's run this on the uh, simulator and it should work. All right, here we are. Let's tap on the heart. There we go. We see the king of hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. You can see we're switching it uh, because again, this suit did change is firing off. And then based on whatever is selected, we execute code. Right now, all we're doing is changing the image that's in the image view. However, you can imagine, you know, you can run whatever code you want based on uh, what's selected. That wraps up the storyboard version. Now let's delete all that and build it programmatically. So back to the storyboard, be gone, you're out of here. Uh, view controller, uh, we're not gonna delete this code quite yet because we're gonna copy and paste it to save some time because we're gonna, we're gonna have the same switch statement basically. Um, so I'm just gonna, uh, comment this out and you'll see here uh, how we're going to use that. So let's create a function called func create suit segmented control. So just like we did uh, via storyboard, uh, a segmented control needs items, right? We need the suits. So let's do let items, and this can be an array of uh, anything. It's an array of any object uh, as you'll see in a, in a little bit, but we're gonna make this uh, a string again, right? Cause we want spades diamonds here. And again, you can put whatever you want uh, in there if you wanted to say something else. So those are our items. So now we're gonna initialize a segmented control. Let's make this bigger just in case. And we're going to initialize that with this array of items. So uh, let segmented control equal UI segmented control. So we're gonna initialize that. And if you look at the initializers here, uh, we can initialize it with items. And you see it's any object like I mentioned there. So we're gonna initialize it with items that we just created up online uh, 22. So we have our segmented control with our items. Now we need to add the action of value change. Basically how we, we drug the action outlet when we use storyboards, doing the same thing just programmatically. So segmented control dot add uh, target self. And then the action here, we need a, a function. Uh, so similar to what we did down here with the IB action uh, in the storyboard, let's create a function. Uh, it needs to be an at objc function. Uh, let's say suit did change. And that takes a uh, segmented control, which is a UI segmented control. And then, like I said, we're gonna use basically the same switch statement. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it here, uh, uncomment. And then you see our alignment's messed up. Little trick here, if you highlight it, do control I, that'll line it back up. Um, but you'll notice here on line 29, sender.selected uh, index. Let me delete this here just to avoid confusion now. Um, we no longer have a sender because a sender is what you use when you're, you're doing outlets and stuff like that. We just have this segmented control. So instead of sender, 
uh, segmented control dot selected index and everything will be the same. So now that we have this function, now we can uh, assign this action to that target. So hashtag selector and then the at OBJC method that we did is, is suit uh, did change. You see, we get the autocomplete there. And then now here's the key. Just like when we created our action outlet, we had to make sure it was for value changed. So for the control event dot value changed. So again, we're, we're just doing the same exact stuff we did via storyboard, just programmatically. And then here, as you can see, we're, we're customizing our segmented control. So if you wanted to mess with the colors, you would do segmented uh, control dot selected segment tint color. And you see it's a UI color. We're, we're not going to mess with that, but you can see how you could customize it programmatically if you wanted. Um, we do need to uh, translate auto resizing rest to the constraints it equals false because we're doing this programmatically. And then now we do view dot add sub view segmented uh, control. And now we just need to set the constraints uh, on the segmented control. If you are familiar with setting constraints programmatically, this will be familiar. Uh, if you've never set constraints programmatically, uh, this will be a little sneak peek here. So we need to pass in an array of constraints. Um, just like we did in storyboard, we are, we're gonna pin it uh, 30 to the leading, 30 to the trailing, and then 75 from the bottom of the card image view. So segmented control dot leading uh, anchor dot constraint. It's going to be equal to view.leading anchor, and then the constant is going to be 30. Put a comma there, and then let's um, just copy and paste this to save some typing here. And extend, instead of leading anchor, it's going to be trailing anchor. And instead of view.leading anchor, view.trailing uh, anchor. And then the constant is negative 30. You gotta do negative when you're doing trailing. And then now we want to do 75 from the bottom uh, of the card view. So segmented control dot top anchor dot constraint is equal to card image view dot bottom anchor, right? Because we're pinning it to the bottom and the constant is going to be 75. So everything should work, right? We're, we're creating the segmented control. We're giving it a target. Uh, we're adding it to the sub view. We're constraining it. And then uh, suit did change will get called when it changed. So everything should function just like it did before. So let's run it and try it. So here we go. Let's select uh, clubs. There's the clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds. Everything's working as expected. Uh, so there you go. Programmatic uh, segmented control. Now, if you're here learning about segmented controls, that means you're an iOS developer and either you're looking for that first job or that next job and having a beautiful portfolio is vital in that pursuit. Which brings me back to today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace is a great way to get that online presence, that portfolio up and running extremely quickly. And look, like we're iOS developers. We're not front-end web developers that can quickly create a website, make it look good for every browser type, all the different screen sizes, make it responsive. Like there's a lot of work that goes into creating a website. And as iOS developers, I think we'd rather spend our time like building apps or learning new things about Swift or the Apple platform. So I'm of the mind, let something like Squarespace take that portfolio off your plate and you can have something beautiful again up and running pretty quickly they got great themes they handle all the analytics all the seo stuff for you uh, it's going to look great and it's simple to use and the portfolio is going to be insanely valuable to you so head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial today and when you're ready to launch that portfolio go to squarespace.com sean allen to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain so that wraps up the lesson on segmented controls again we did it via storyboard and programmatically, uh, if you enjoy my teaching style, check out the website on the screen, seanallen.teachable.com. I've started creating my own courses, and we'll see you in the next video.